Hey, what's up? This is Paul Murphy. So I've got some smart money tactics lined up in this video to show you five simple ways that you can make money only with YouTube SEO, not viral channels, all this stuff that everyone else is trying to do and not succeed in. This is just by ranking your videos, okay? So number one is affiliate marketing. It's one of the most powerful things you can do when you get started because you don't need a product, right? So it's really exciting. So this is kind of how I got started on my channel. Um, I actually had an idea to start a channel in 2007. I didn't start one till 2016. Um, I, I waited nine years for some bizarre reason. And the very first product you can see here I promoted was Ever Webinar and Webinar Jam. Um, and we generated over $300,000 just promoting that product. One funnel away here was one that I promoted, Kartra, Groove Pages, um, and Demio, and many other products on this channel, right? And by using just YouTube SEO on this channel, we um, got in the leaderboards, right? So we we're actually in the top 10 without spending a single penny on ads, which is really cool. And I've been in these leaderboards for years, right? Um, we also, because we are um, giving Google and YouTube what it wants to claim authority with our channels. So what we kind of do here is we mimic what um, the vendors would do. So we, if we're doing affiliate marketing, what would a vendor do to claim authority over their product? Well, they'll put up a few videos that we're showing people stuff. There's a couple of you know things that we put in there that mimic that. And then what happens is, is that we end up claiming authority really, really fast with just a handful of videos over the products we promote. And that's how we make money, right? And this product here, we, over this 12 month period, we've done a, we actually had 15,000 second tier on this as well. So we've got a six figure business. So this is really, really powerful, right? Um, so that's the first one. And you can actually see here that there is, um, this is how you can do affiliate marketing. What a lot of people will do is they will rank for the product. So they're going to go and look at, and that's the lowest hanging fruit. So buy Groove Pages, buy Kartra, right? Stuff like that. Now, if I wanted to kind of open that up to a bigger audience and a lot more people, what I can do is I can go and start serving that audience with that product. So what you can do here is instead of saying buy Kartra, which is going to have a finite amount of searches, right? And, it, you know, there are going to be people searching it, but it's going to be lower than you going and solving a bigger problem because there's going to be lots of prob products here, problems here. So I've got this example. I'll show you how this fits in. But what you could do here is you could go and put in how to create a landing page in under five minutes, right? You don't mention Kartra or anything like that. You're just solving a problem. So someone puts that in, they see your video, they watch your video, and of course the product you use is Kartra and you show them a demo using Kartra, then you offer a link to a free trial. Okay, so this is this is kind of what a lot of people miss. A lot of people will go straight for the product, which you can do, and this is the low hanging fruit. So you're going to clean up just by ranking the product. But what you can do if you go one step higher and start solving problems and start um, helping people, then they're going to want to buy the product that you're using because they're building no like and trust with you, right? Um, and this example here is a great one. Now, this video here is not one of mine, but I just want to show you, you don't need to put yourself on camera, right? You can sell affiliate products here, like simple and natural ways to avoid pimples. They could have had an affiliate product, which could have been a, um, a face cream or something like that, right? So they could have put a link to a face cream here or in the comments down here, and then that somebody could have clicked and gone and bought that. And this way here gives them some you know, some some useful information. Again, not putting this up on camera. This is just a like slideshow and then give them a link, right? So you kind of see how that works, right? And this has had 700,000 views. This would have made them a lot more money if they'd have actually put a link to a product, but they actually did it where they were trying to generate money from ads, right? And the way to do that as well, okay, this is the way you kind of get your products and services at the top of Google and YouTube and where no one can move you for the next five years. So this is kind of autopilot marketing for free. Right, and it builds your email list for free as well, and it does all your retargeting is using this magic affiliate funnel. Okay, so um, we've got funnels for all of these different things, but what we do is we, we 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 create ten videos for the product that we want to promote. We drop them into this funnel, and then this funnel will basically um, deliver all the traffic we ever need on autopilot. Because every time somebody watches one of our video and they opt in for this funnel, then um, pe more people watch the video, they go up more opt ins, they go up more, and then they kind of skyrocket. And then this is how we clean up. This is how we get six, seven figure businesses with just one affiliate product, right? And that's why we want to solve problems rather than going for the low hanging fruit, because by solving problems, we can rank for bigger problems and clean up. So that's tip number one, okay? Tip number two is coaching, okay? So coaching, consulting, online courses, 
like anything like that. Um, and a lot of people think, well, I can't be a coach. And I used to think the same. I wasn't a coach before. I was an affiliate marketer. I didn't know. Nobody knew me online. Nobody knew anything about me. And um, the funny thing is, is that I always wanted a community. I always wanted to kind of have people to connect with. But I didn't have that. So I didn't know I was going to be a good coach. But the fact is, is that if you have something that you're good at, no matter how crazy you might think it is, there's going to be people out there that want to know it, right? Now, you might, you know, you might be good at the Rubik's Cube. You might be good at something. But the great thing is, is that YouTube's a direct to a, a direct to customer response medium. So you can basically go and start showing people on YouTube. And if you've already got courses or if you've already got um, training, then you can just start putting it all out there for free, like I am on my YouTube channel. By the way, subscribe because little powerful things happen to you today. You have a much better day when you subscribe to this channel and you hit that uh, thumbs up and you hit the bell and you get notified of the next videos. You kind of see how that works, right? But the fact is, is that people are, are going to want to, um, you, you know, if you've got something that people want to know, then you can start utilizing YouTube and then people will kind of start building relationships with you and then they'll want to buy your premium courses, they'll want to work with you one-to-one, -one, whatever services you offer. So YouTube's obviously great for coaching. It's kind of one of the most powerful things. Again, you can be generating leads and clients for years to come, okay? And this is how I do coaching on YouTube. These are just some of my videos. Um, this one here's had 27,000 views, 2.7 thousand views, 560. And this is all direct to people who need to solve problems, right? And again, we use a funnel for this. So, you know, if you're doing coaching, consulting, or if you're doing selling your own online courses, this one here is if you're doing one-to-one -one coaching and you want to hop on a call with somebody, see if they're a good fit. Um, we did um, design this funnel. We drop in, again, we start serving, building no lock and trust, giving as much value on our channel and then we're building an email list. People are coming through, building this, and then they want to book a call. So initially, that we just put a link straight to our calendar, right? So we could get on the call, find out what people wanted, and then we started pre-qualifying. So we would have like a big questionnaire that we would put in, then we would charge for the call, then we'd have a VSL, make sure they're a good fit. And by doing it this way, um, we were converting three out of four of every calls by doing this. So this is really, really powerful funnel. Again, this is the after I um, developed the Magic Affiliate Funnel, this was the first funnel I, I kind of re reworked the Magic Affiliate Funnel into this Magic Application Funnel. Um, and this is, you know, this is kind of all you need to run your entire business. You just need YouTube, this funnel, and uh, you can run a, you know, very, very fast, you can get to a six-figure coaching business. Um, and this is the only funnel I ever used. So you can see that I actually had $1.1 million last quarter. So that's tip number two. I totally recommend doing coaching on YouTube because it's the way that you can really build a relationship. You know, if somebody sees an advert on Facebook and things like that, they're kind of a bit sceptical, right? Whereas if they're looking for a problem and you're there on YouTube, you're already meeting them in a good place and you start building a relationship that way, right? So email marketing, I mean, that's why we build the magic funnels because obviously when we build in a relationship, we can market to our customers. We don't necessarily have to market the same products. We can market more products. Obviously, as long as they all fit within the same, um, you know, within that remit. And again, we use all of our magic funnels. We've got the e-commerce funnel, e-book funnel, application funnel, um, affiliate funnel, the self-liquidating offer funnel. You've got the agency funnel coming up soon as well. The local business, kind of a funnel for everything that uses the same process, which takes advantage of YouTube. OK, so um, the other one thing is local brick and mortar. Now, the thing is, is that most local businesses do not have videos, right? So your local garage or your local restaurant or whatever is not going to necessarily have a video, which means it's really, really super easy to go and rank a video um, on the front page of Google. Now, what you can do with that is you just take images that they use in their ads, using their marketing, using their brochures, or you can just go around yourself with a camera and take a picture of their, their premises. But normally they'll give you that, right? And then you turn those into a slideshow. Right, and you can go and do that on places like Canva for free. Canva has a kind of, you can create a slideshow and turn it into a video on Canva for free. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube. Obviously, I won't get into that here, but you can do that, right? You can actually make a slideshow, you can add music, and then that has now turned their restaurant into a video, right? And by doing that, you'll basically be able to get that straight on the front page of Google, straight on the front page of YouTube, and uh, with what COVID and everything, a lot of businesses like going out of business, a lot of people needing help. This is a really great way. And a little strategy here I recommend doing is if you if you want to start an agency and you want to start trying to kind of get business from these people, 
um, because it's so simple and so straightforward to put these videos up and get them ranking, I would put them on the front page of Google first. I would choose a business, rank them, send them all the traffic, right? Send them, you know, put their phone number on the video so that people are ringing them direct, depending on, you know, what is their best, what's the best way people contact. For restaurants, people generally phone, don't they? Um, but, you know, it depends, right? Whatever the business is, just put a link or a phone number or something, leave it up for a week, contact the contact them, right? Because that video is taking you no time, right? Put it up. Contact them and say, look, I've sent you all this traffic. Um, would you like to keep the business there? Do you want to come to some arrangement? Okay, and you send them screenshots. You don't even have to ring them, right? You could just email them and say, hey, I've been um, sending you all this traffic. I just wondered if you wanted to keep it. Right, and straight away they're going to get in touch with you. No hard sales or anything like that. They're going to phone you up and say, uh, "Yeah, how can you know what do you want to do?" And the trick here is, um, if you're trying to start an agency, if that video is worth whatever you sell that video for, if it's worth four times as much to them, then that's a no-brainer for them because that's what they most people want to make around about a two-to-one on their advertising budgets these days. If they can get that, they're really happy. So if it's a four-to-one ROI, then they're, it's a no-brainer for most businesses, right? So let's give you an example here. One of those videos could be you could you could rent that to them for one thousand a month because they they might be making at least four thousand dollars worth of business off that a month, right? So if potentially it could be if it's worth four thousand a month to them, they'll pay you a thousand, right? So that's obviously the thing you can do once you start getting on the phone with these businesses. And then you can kind of start thinking, hang on a minute, I was doing this for restaurants, but there's this business over there that I know one lead is going to be worth so much more. So I'll rank for that instead. And then you can kind of set your agencies up. And don't forget, you don't have to do this just in your local area. It's just the local area to that business. So you can literally choose any town or country in the world that has YouTube and Google and start ranking these. And you can do this all, all via email and set up a direct debit with them. Really good business strategy. Again, just using YouTube SEO, this is really, really powerful, right? Okay, and you can see, look, you know, this is these are not um, local businesses. This is for, a lot of these are for affiliate products, but you can see that we can rank these pretty much immediately, right? So once you do that, you can, guys, you know, you could if you want to. You don't have to send them the traffic. You could rank it immediately and just send them a screenshot and say, hey, I've got you on the front page of Google. Um, I just wondered if you wanted to, you know, talk about um, keeping it there, Right. So this is my magic secret formula. So if you've stayed to the end of this video, I always save the best till last, right? Now, a lot of people talk about drop shipping. Now, drop shipping's have really, really uh, been really exciting over the last few years. And all drop shipping is, is where you would put up an online store like Shopify or WordPress, uh, WooCommerce type store. And in your store, you will sell stuff, right? And you'll advertise it on YouTube or ads or Google or whatever. Right. And then when somebody goes and buys that product from your store, you then behind the scenes go and order it and then get it sent direct to the customer. So you don't have a warehouse full of anything. Right. You can get it done from China. You can get it done. There's lots of different ways of doing it. Right. Now, um, what came out a few years ago was high ticket drop shipping because high, high ticket drop shipping mean that you could sell because there's like thousands where there's low ticket price. Um, products in your niche right there's going to be loads of high ticket products so you can make a lot of money just from one sale and there's usually just as many people searching for the high ticket products as there are the low ticket products right you know it's a myth to think that there's not going to be enough customers there is there's millions and billions of people on the planet all wanting to buy high ticket products right so so this high ticket drop shipping came about and, and it was that kind of philosophy where you would go and put up a store say for instance you're selling panasonic televisions right these 500 five thousand pound televisions right and then what you would do is you'd put up your store you'd go and advertise now two things you'd have to do here which they didn't kind of tell you about one is if somebody buys from you obviously you go and order it from from the vendor right but you are the person that they that they don't know about the vendor. They only know about you and your store. So you're going to have to deal with refunds and you're going to have to deal with tickets. So when people want to send stuff back, they've got to send it back to you, right? And not only that, you've got to deal with that and you've got to deal with the headaches that come with customer service, right? So that's problem number one with any dropshipping model, right? Because you're the point of call. Problem number two with that is you've got to be try and be competitive. Now, if you're, say, for instance, I'm, I'm choosing somebody who I'm advertising against on the front page of Google or in a Facebook ad or whatever, I can't obviously charge the same price as them because if I'm ordering it from them, 
right? The likelihood is, is I've got to put my prices up unless I get a deal with them, but, the, you know, in a bulk deal or whatever. But to start with, I've got to basically put my price up. So say, for instance, this is 5,000. I've got to put mine up to whatever margin I want to make. So say I'm making 500 pound, I've got to go 5,500. Now with physical products, people shop around, right? It's the one thing that we, it is based on price. A lot of other things aren't anymore, but a lot, it's based on the value and the, you know, what people get. But when it comes to physical products, it's like for like because it's the same product, right? So people will shop around. So for you to get those sales, it's going to have to be competitive, right? And you can't be competitive if you're drop shipping because you've got to put a mark up, right? And there's one other problem, which is basically the delivery times. You know, people will buy from you and you're going to have to say it's going to take three weeks for you to get delivered or whatever, because especially if you're ordering stuff from overseas abroad, it's coming through you, then it's going through them. So that can be a problem. You can actually get that. You, that, that is something that can be fixed because you can order local and stuff like that. But that can be a problem, right? Now, my drop shipping alternative is like, this is my, one of the most hands-off things you can ever do. And you can clean up with this, right? So what you can do, okay, let's say, for instance, you'll take this lazy spa, right? You can see here that this one here has got 246,000 monthly searches. So if you get a video on the front page of Google for this product, this could be a million dollar a year business in your pocket without ever having to stock this item, right? And this is what you do, right? So say for instance, this is the vendor that we're gonna buy our lazy spa off, right? Now you can see that this is 300 pounds, right? Now, for instance, if we did drop shipping here, um, we would have to put that up for 330 pounds, right? So people are going to see our video, but they're also going to see this static ad. Now, we will still make some sales, but people are going to shop around, right? They're going to see this one, they're going to see our video, and they're going to go, well, this one's cheaper. I'll buy from here, right? Now, what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to put up two or three videos on the front page. You can see there's none here, wide open. And this is the great thing with e-commerce products. Most of these are completely wide open. This is big business. If you can go, you know, go and just check, find some of these. I'll show you one in a minute with like millions of views and it's, it's no competition, right? But this here, right? So you put up these videos, you send them all to this place here for a few days. And again, you send them a screenshot and you say, I've been sending you the traffic. And don't forget, this is how many monthly searches. So you're going to be literally blowing up their orders, right? Because not only are they here, but they're here and, you're, and you know, they're not having to pay anything extra from your video, right? Because this link goes straight to them, right? And then um, just email them and say, um, by the way, I'm going to start selling these independently and ordering from your supplier or whatever. You can say what you want. But the fact is, if you said to them, look, I actually would like to give you all the business, but I just want you to enroll me in your affiliate scheme, right? Now, most of these companies will actually have an affiliate scheme, but they just don't make it, um, they don't make it, um, obvious to any because physical products generally they're the ones selling it right but they will have an affiliate scheme for certain vendors they deal with and things like that but they don't make it massively obvious now if they don't don't forget it's really really easy you could show them how to set up an affiliate scheme with any one of the affiliate vendors out there right but they would know how to do this they would figure it out because if they're going to be paying you a 10 percent commission which is roughly what you'll get from physical products right you might get more you might get less depending on volumes and things like that but if we say as an average, roughly, you could be starting at about 10%, right? They're going to be paying you 10% out of their pocket. They're going to be dealing with the refunds. You're going to have three or four videos here that could be making you, in commission alone, a million dollars a year. Because every single sale that's coming in is 30, 30 pounds in your pocket, right? And you could, be get, you could be getting a dozen, 20, 30 sales a day from this sort of volume. If you had three or four videos on there, this could be making you serious money, right? And again, this is all set and forget. So these will be staying here for five years, you know, because of the way we do this, right? So this is super, super wide open. Go and do it like it's really, really killer, right? I'll show you another one as well. This one here, try and hold. This has got 2.2 million searches a month. Now, this is a YouTube only keyword. So we don't need to rank this one on the front page of Google. We just rank it on YouTube. Now this this tool here, this is VidIQ that I use. This is a specific um, premium tool that I use, and it basically tells you the competition. Now this score here, if it's if it's over seventy over one hundred, it's it means it's really really easy, right? And this one here, you can see two point two million searches a month, no virtually no competition, right? 
And uh, what this is, it's not something I would actually do. But if you want to team up with somebody or know somebody to do it, it's basically people trying on underwear, right? And what what we do here, okay, this is the, the trick here. If you know someone who can do this, they'll just basically try stuff on. I mean, it's not just underwear, but underwear gets the most views, right? But basically, if you know stuff that people want to try this on, look at this. One day old, 24,000 views. Three weeks old, 200,000 views. Three days old, 500,000 views. This isn't underwear. This is just boots, right? Okay, 3.49 hours ago. So these are getting high super volumes. Now, you see this area here. There's a couple of lines here where you can put a link to, uh, this is a description. You can put a link to these products directly. All of these girls are trying to run and um, make money as well from ads, running ads on their channels. So we switch off the ads. We'd have this direct response. We'd have a link here. And you, you know, this is millions of dollars a year straight away. Because these these are these girls trying on these under uh, underwear and these clothes, that is a form of you know like a shopping channel, right? Somebody comes in and they see them trying it on, and there's a direct link to that product, right? Now, admittedly, there's going to be a percentage of boys watching this that are not interested in buying the <laughs> buying the stuff. Obviously, I get that. But if you've got a link directly to here and you're not trying to run ads on these channels, look at this: one point four million, three point six. You know, this is how you grow. This is, you know, you could just team up with somebody on this. This, again, is wide, wide open. And again, you'd have a link to these products. You'd have an affiliate commission. So you don't never need to have any stock or anything like that. Super, super easy method. And, you know, this is the other thing as well. You can, you know, with all these methods, YouTube is now giving more and more, uh, sorry, Facebook, uh, Google and YouTube are giving more and more exposure to videos this is one i did the other day look there's only one organic listing as you can see okay and this is the funnel we use for this okay now this looks a bit daunting because you think oh my god you've got to make all these videos but these are three or four images in a slideshow right this is you know for for our e-commerce funnel for you know like for lazy spa we would do 32 videos okay and then we just plug this funnel in and it's really 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 exciting okay so next video i'm going to show you if you've got no subscribers, there are big cash rewards. So go straight there now and we'll see you there.